Right, Kahala, Yahabu Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakhakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone of the well. I am not a member. However, I've entered into our labors. Peace and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. All right, this is a, another quick one, another uh, a TikTok special. Um, I don't, I didn't follow this brother, but now I just did. Um, also follow him on YouTube, um, brother. If you see this, it's uh, let the word speak. I will be um, borrowing this from you for a second, if you don't mind. I appreciate it. Um, but this is to say that the same thing that the so-called natives or uh, the so-called Indians, so the Latin, the Latin tribes that may be indigenous as well, or, or yeah, yeah, the Latin tribes that may be indigenous as well, that they are the Northern Kingdom. They are a part of the twelve tribes. You can do your research and you can look and see that uh, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, uh, who were are referred to as Jews, um, stayed over there on the east, and that is why most of the Bible talks about them. But the other tribes, the northern kingdom, when it split after Solomon, uh, they came over here, which is currently Babylon the Great. But the land is named, Ar was, was named Arsareth. Uh, Solomon and his navy came over here a year and a half one way, a year and a half the other. You can look that up as well. Um, these are your brothers and sisters, cousins, whatever you want to call it. They are part of it too. They suffered the same uh, uh, just as the southern kingdom. And anybody denying them, if they speak not according to this word, the light is not in them. They are false. They are liars. There is no black only. You can. It is not a skin color thing. So let me let this play. We'll get a couple scriptures and that will be it. The idea that um, they were saving me. Saving us. Um, from ourselves being all right so you have already deuteronomy 28 and 32 you can read saved and i should be grateful for the life that i've been given because any child on the reservation would give anything to live as i was living they took us away from our mom they came marching right in Look, brother i already said it right here down here at the bottom and then literally took us and thousands of other children from their home it's a way to er eradicate us. And to go to a nation's children is one of the sure ways to do that. The U.S. has a long and brutal legacy of attempting to eradicate Native Americans. For centuries, they colonized Native American lands and murdered their populations. They forced them west and pushed them into small, confined patches of land. But Native Americans resisted. A Board of Indian Commissioners report said, instead of dying out under the light and contact of civilization, the Indian population is steadily increasing. <laughs> That's another small thing you can notice because you know, Jake, we don't die, we multiply, right? They, they just keep growing. And I pulled that up. When I heard that, I couldn't do nothing but smile because they also, uh, Pharaoh said the same thing. He said, let us deal wisely with them. So let's get Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place wherein it was said unto them, ye are not my people, right? Uh, 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 Indian, native, whatever tribe, uh, black, nigger, sand, uh, or what is it, spigger, uh, tree niggers, all the, th all the derogatory uh, terms and bywords that they called us, all of us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the natives, all of those bywords that we would be known as, as it says, um, and now we will be called the children of Yahweh, right? According to the, the Paleo Hebrew, the Hebrew, the Lashawan Kadash, right? So we'll be called, uh, uh, the children of God, or ye, ye are the sons of the living power. So, and it also will tell you one, I shall go, shall go by the name Jacob. One shall go by the name Israel, right? And that is a, in a testament to the awakening. And then let's see Exodus 1 and 7 and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them. That is what we do. We grow even in affliction. Right. Let us deal wisely. And that is the, the modern day Pharaoh. Oh, I was right there. 
1, Exodus 1, 10 through 12. All right, so come let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when the, when the, that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. All right, so therefore they did set over them taskmasters and afflict them with their burdens, and they built Pharaoh, built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom's and Ramesses, Pithom and Ramses. So as you can see, the modern day Pharaoh does the same thing. He deals wisely, and you wash out any semblance of whatever culture that they had. Even though Jake was going off, they washed away any culture that they had and made them speak the language of their oppressor assimilate into the culture of their oppressor. And that was an obstacle to total American expansion. So the U.S. found a new solution to absorb and assimilate them. It all started with an experiment and a man named Richard... I'll pause it. As you can see, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7, he has... Richard Henry Pratt. He had in his charge some prisoners of war and he taught these men how to speak English, how to read and write, and how to do labor. He dressed them in military uniforms and basically ran an, an assimilation experiment. And then he took his results to the federal government and said they're capable of being civilized. So he was able to get this project funded. In 1879, the government funded Pratt's project the first ever off-reservation boarding school for Native American children. And not only do you have uh, had all those boarding schools uh, where you're, there are bodies on top of bodies buried there, um, you also have the, the Natives and, and some of the Negroes in these Catholic churches um, where the churches were built over. There's bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies, just remains from anywhere from young infants to 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 teenagers just everywhere and you can liken that unto the side of the negro where or the so-called negro where they had towns and, and and profitable cities and next thing you know they're chased out uh they're hung their 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 genitals are cut off and shoved in their mouth and then all of their remains are buried in a town and then the town then becomes a lake Look that up too. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Israel be, is a name for the northern kingdom. Judah is a name for the southern kingdom uh, or one of the titles that they use for southern kingdom. And they were oppressed together right here in Babylon. That is a part of prophecy. And, this, and the scripture also says that in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. And we are now all starting to remember ourselves. Some of us waking up to the truth. Others are waking up to uh, perverting the gospel and in it for self-gain and, and, and changing the word of the Lord to fit what they want or to fit what makes them comfortable or to assimilate that word, assimilate unto their master. P passing their, uh, their jewels unto swine. Or passing their treasure under swine, roughly paraphrased. His motto was to kill the Indian and save the man. What started there at the Carlisle Indian Industrial School was nothing short of genocide disguised as American education. Children were forcibly taken from reservations and placed into the school, hundreds, even thousands of miles away from their families. They were stripped of their traditional clothing. Their hair was cut short. They were given new names and forbidden from speaking their native languages. To take our children and to indoctrinate them into Western society, to take away their identity as indigenous peoples, their tribal identity. I think it's one of the most effective and insidious ways that the U.S. did do harm to, to, to indigenous peoples here because it targeted our children, our most vulnerable. There are also accounts of mental, physical, and sexual abuse, of forced manual labor, neglect, starvation, and death. My great-grandfather went to Carlisle and nobody in my family ever talked about it. 
So if you Google Indian boarding schools, the majority of the pictures that you will see will be actually from Carlisle. Colonel Pratt created propaganda. He hired a photographer to create those before and after photos to show that his experiment was working. So he, it was, you know, intentional propaganda. And it worked. The Carlisle model of education swept the country and led to the creation of over 350 boarding schools to assimilate Native American children. On the one hand, we have the Navajo as we find him in the desert. Few of these boys and girls have ever seen a white man. Yet, through the agencies of the government, they are being rapidly brought from their state of comparative savagery and barbarism to one of and, and you hear the, the irony of this devil talking about somebody's savagery and barbarism. That's, it's enough to leave somebody speechless. But uh, you see the TikTok, you see the, uh, the TikTok handle, um, you can go to this and finish the rest of the movie, or not the movie, <laughs> finish the rest of the, um, of the video and see. But this man is a hypocrite. And a liar and everything that you're taught he's behind the propaganda and the lies let's get this last one before we end it oh. going back to Psalms I usually grab this one Maybe every other two or every two videos, I might grab this one. But it's even, it's so relevant, right? All right, the song of Asaph, this is Psalms 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies have made tumult. Thy enemies make a tumult and they hate, they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Teach them English. Right? And that is why there's another scripture that says. Um, uh, uh, roughly paraphrase. Of man, uh, gosh, I got to find that. I'm going to have to put that in the description. Because um, I cannot think of that how to word that correctly at this at this point in time. But if you see this, check the description box. I'll put it in there. But it shall be a man over you that uh that doesn't speak your language, whose language you don't understand. I think. Let's see. But you see this highlighted portion, and it says, "Cut, come and let them cut them off. Let us cut them off from being a nation." All right, and they have consulted together with one consent, and they are confederate against thee. So off the rip, we always get that tabernacles of Edom. And then it speaks of Edom again because Amalek is a grandson of Edom, of the, the nation of, uh, I mean, of Esau, who is the progenitor of the, of the nation of Edom or Idumia in the Greek. So they are on there twice. And that's why they are on there twice. Because they, they, I don't know, not only did they destroy us, but they went and just screwed everything up in the earth period the earth was given into the hands of the wicked job 9 24 and he has just missed mismanaged it utterly uh like the oh a nation Deuteronomy 20, it's in 28. God, I should have known that. Let's get it right here. 20, Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Let's read it in the NLT. The uh, Yahweh will bring a distant nation against you from the end of the earth, and it will swoop down on you like a vulture, and it's a nation whose language you do not understand. Or not and. It is a nation whose language you do not understand. 
Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted. I, was, I can't believe that slipped my mind, Shalakia. But that's the last scripture that I wanted to get. And again, I tell you, so-called Latinos and natives are the northern kingdom. They are your brothers. Uh, ne so-called Negro and vice versa. You have the same struggle, the same enemy, the same curses are on you. So with that being said, Shalom.